Hi, Harding Township School. It's Superintendent Spelker. I just wanted to do, give you a brief message about uh, the school, how we're doing. Um, it's been said that the tough times reveal character, and I can tell you that I'm very, very proud of how all of our community have reacted and kind of uh, been flexible with what we're dealing with. So I want to thank you first. I have a big surprise for you. We have a uh, very talented tour guide who I think you're familiar with every morning from her videos. She's going to take us around this wonderful room uh, and all of our new classrooms that are uh, being created for our STEM lab and our uh, library renovation. So I look forward to that and um, I'm going to send it over to Ms. Donahue. Thanks. Hi Harding Township School, you just saw Dr. Spelker gave the intro. Today is a special day because you are going to get to see where we are with the creation of our library and our STEM lab. I think you're going to be blown away. So Dr. Spelker right now is standing in the entryway and as he comes towards me, um, you get into the library and if you pan around Dr. Spelker, he'll show you over here, as you remember, is where the old library was. If you look in this corner, if you're picturing it, that's where the crazy blue steps used to be. Um, and so if you look at this picture, this right here will be what you see behind me. And it, you can tell it's going to look fantastic. And I don't think we'll even miss those blue steps too much. So that's what it's going to look like if we go over here, um, so you can kind of picture Mr. Harris's desk was right here, and as we look on this side, this is what you would be seeing over here. So as you come in, come down, you're going to have all the bookshelves, and that this whole side is going to be designated for our brand new library and our friend Mrs. Kircher um, is going to be the happiest person to have this be her new place. So if you follow me here, we're going down and this is going to be tall glass walls. And this is one of the brand new classrooms that we're getting. So follow me down here, the library, and then this space, if you remember, way back when this used to be the stage of the school. So someone like Mrs. Howard, who has a great deal of history at the school, she remembers that this was the stage. So if you're picturing it and what it used to look like, this is where the blue carpet used to be. And when we would have board meetings, this is where it was. So if you come with me in here, pretend I'm opening a glass door, and now we're in a brand new classroom. And you can see super high ceilings. And if you come over here, now this, I think, is probably my favorite room. So this is what it's going to look like. So you can see the library is back over there, all glass windows so we can see each other. Mrs. Gertrude can be over here, Ms. Robles, and these are all going to be our high top tables. This is primarily where our middle schoolers are going to be working and creating. You can see the glue guns are coming down. And on each side of this room, so over here and down here will be huge TV monitors and what they allow you to do is you can have four students at the same time plug their Chromebooks on. So when Ms. Robles gives you an investigation and you're trying to get through your design, you can show your classmates how you were envisioning the design and then obviously you'll get to work um, with the creation part of it. So this we're kind of calling like our creation space and this will be primarily for our middle schoolers. If you keep following me over here, we never forget our elementary students. So this would be another glass wall. And as we go in, if you can picture this part, this is where those old carols were, okay? Not the way we learn anymore, where everyone's um, barricaded into a carol. So this will be all open space, and this will have tables that we can put in, we can take out. And this is primarily where our elementary students will be doing their STEM work. And the great thing about this room is it's going to be like our most flexible room. So students will be working here. One of the keys to STEM that we said is you need tons and tons and tons of storage. So the storage will be all around. And these tables will be used when we have faculty meetings, when we have board meetings. 
Um, we're looking forward to having visitors here at Harding Township School, so this place will be very, very flexible. And because you can see with the type of seating, it's a little bit more conducive for our younger students. So, okay, so if you're keeping track, that's we have a library, classroom one, classroom two, and then this is probably what most people think about when they think about STEM. This is where we used to have our computers and now this space is going to be like our tech tool room. So if you come on in, looks completely different and the picture really says it best. So this room is going to be where we have our 3D printers, our carving machines. Um, we have one machine that's coming that's their most fabulous. can cut through cardboard and foam, anything to create those prototypes. And so that's where this is going to come. And certainly this room will be locked up so everyone can be safe. Um, and this is where um, we'll really be um, getting the finished product with a lot of our STEM um, projects. And as you look at this, it's facing that direction. I also love how all the ceilings are. So fun fact that Dr. Spilker discovered is if you come over here, you know, this used to be the old gym. So if you look up there, you can see the rope that used to hang down when Harding Township School students were participating in gym. So a lot of history is here, um, but Harding Township School families, students, anyone who contributed to the STEM lab. I hope this gets you excited about all the great things we have to look forward to in September. This place is going to knock your socks off. I can't tell you how hard Ms. Robles has been working and coordinating with other teachers to develop our STEM curriculum, um, and it's going to be the most fabulous place. Um, and I'm so happy though that from our kindergartners all the way up to our eighth graders, they're all going to take advantage of it. And as I said, the library is going to be sensational as well. So Harding, get excited. It's coming your way, September 2020. Good news for our school community. And as Dr. Spelker said, would not have been possible without you. So thank you, and we hope you enjoyed the tour.